Welcome to the channel guys, VST VNF Tech. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It is the Exynos version, Exynos 2200. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to enable core recording in just 10 seconds. Now, of course, I need to make a disclaimer. It's not gonna be the native call recording, which right now for Samsung, it's not so easy to get. You need to change your CSC and firmware and use a supported one, which means country that doesn't really have a GDPR. For example, like Thailand and etc. There, you're gonna get native call recording, but yeah, this phone is sold on territory of Europe and we have GDPR, so hence, yeah, we are the lucky ones to not have the native call recording. Native call recording is always the best, but if we don't have it and if we need to change CSC, which is not so easy right now on those phones and you need to use some key and some special services, well, then you can follow this method. So guys, it's very easy, just click on the Play Store, all right, go inside, okay, and type cube ACR, okay, ACR as to advanced call recorder. Okay, we're gonna see there is an application called Call Recorder Cube ACR. Install the application, let's do the setup and let's do one test. Now, very, very important disclaimer. If you do use a Wi-Fi calling, voice over Wi-Fi, it will not work. It doesn't really work. Also, native call recording don't work when you have Wi-Fi calling. So if you need to record a call, just disable that one, all right? This is very important, guys. So now, open after you install the tool. Welcome to the Cube Call Recorder. Press next. Okay, you need, of course, to do some agreements there. You need to grant some permissions, okay, while using the app, allow, press allow, press allow. You need to grant some more permissions and also enable the overlays. So just scroll down. The setup is very easy. It will really guide you. Okay, once you do enable the overlay, you need to enable also the app connector. This happens here from install applications. Once you're there, just click on Cube ACR. Okay, just switch this to on, this also to on. Now go back to the setup, disable Wi-Fi calling. This is the disclaimer that I made. It's very important, guys, you don't use Wi-Fi calling because this is not working very, very well. Disable power optimization for Cube. You can choose to ignore this, but if you want everything to be perfect, it's better to disable it. So stop optimizing battery usage, allow, okay? Then you're gonna get the geotagging menu, which is also quite helpful and helpful. If you wanna use it, then just press yes, okay? While using the app. And then, of course, you're gonna get some paid options. Now, we are all set in goal, guys. Phone, Viber, etc. And, of course, we can now decide to make our first call. What I'm gonna do, usually I just call my operator, okay? All right, I will not put the speaker so that, you know, you're not concerned about this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, test, okay? Nothing is brought on the menu, I just hang the call, guys. And now, what will happen, guys, I will go back inside my Cube ACR, and boom, I have already a call recorded. Let's try to hear it back. All right, I will not put the speaker so that, See? you know, we're not concerned about this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, test, okay? Nothing is brought on the menu, I just... Okay, the call is recorded, okay? Quality will not be 100%, but it will still do the work. Once you are inside the recording settings, you can decide to auto-record everything. That's pretty much what I did, right? Or you can enable it all the time. Now, if you wanna go for a manual record, you can enable this overlay now, and I press, okay, got it. Now, in order to enable the widget, we need to go to miscellaneous and go here, guys, to recording controls mode. Right now, I can go for rigid, Right, and I can decide to enable the overlay. Now let's enable the overlay, okay? The option that we enabled right now, one, two, three, let me just show you guys. I'm starting to do another call, and I have a menu here, all right? See, call started, it's not recorded. If I wanna record it, guys, I press the menu there. One, two, three, test the call recording. See, speaker is not on, okay? Now I can decide to stop the call recording. Recording now stop, and I can still do my call. If I press the hang up, okay, and guide you guys back inside here, the Cube ACR, I'll see I have another recording. Let's try to play that one. I press the menu there. One, two, three. 
See, call has been recorded. Other useful settings, if you go back to the settings and you go to recording, you can just scroll down and see and select services to be recorded, like the serial calls, the messenger, telegram, and the Viber, which is also not a bad option, of course. There are some things like VoIP calls, quality improvement, right? This is the one used by Viber or see Telegram and Messenger. You can try to play around the settings, all right? And you will have plenty of options and also, of course, have some paid options. If you go to backup and storage, right? If you decide to buy the service, you'll be able to even back up those recordings on the cloud, right? So that you can really access them um, whatever you want to. Now, a lot of guys asked me on some previous videos like this where all those files are stored. They are stored in a path called external, okay, documents, cube call recordings, right? And if you click here the migrate recordings, you can select a folder of your own, you know, where you want to keep those one, okay? So this is very useful, guys. If you want to use another folder where the recordings are going to get stored, you know, this is really the best option for you to get so. In the miscellaneous settings, you can also decide to bring the widget to the left side, okay? So let's say if I start and call right now, I'm going to have here the widget coming. Also, guys, you can just drag the widget like this. Let's start a call recording right now. I can drag it like this, okay? Auto recording enabled for operator. But this is very fancy. Even though I have chosen manual call recording, which means that every time I need to press it, right, if I click the toggle here, every time I call the operator, auto recording is going to start. Let me just show you guys. I'm just going to call them again. All right. Operator calling. Boom. See? Recording started automatically. If I decide to not auto record this contact, I just click here and then we're good. If I decide to stop the recording, I then click here as well. Call recording stop and then I hang up the call. All right. Now I can, of course, always go back in my Cube ACR and I can really check all these things. So, guys, this is, I think, the best that you can get for like 10 seconds playing around. Yeah, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like content like this, and don't forget to install the Cube ACR application. Use it, of course, always with caution. And yeah, please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. VST, over and bye.